is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to film this video. I did kind of tease that I wanted to film this uh, in my previous video. You guys love when I do these kind of cooking videos, cook with me type thing. And I don't know about you, but I have been seeing this recipe all over TikTok. If you're a pasta lover like me, you guys have to try it. I thought this would be a fun kind of video as well to do, especially during lockdown, to maybe inspire you guys to practice your cooking skills as well. I don't know, I'm literally following a TikTok recipe. I feel like this is gonna be so, so easy, so anyone can do it. As you can tell by the title, we are gonna be doing the Gigi Hadid infamous pasta recipe. It's actually got vodka in it. It's called like the vodka pasta recipe recipe. It may come as a shock to you all, but your girl's not going to be adding vodka today because she's doing dry January. I know. If you've been a follower for a while, you know I said that in November I like wasn't going to drink or anything like that. That literally went to shit. I think I drank the most I've ever drank in November and December. I think I just need a break and you know, dry January is a thing. I was like, I just want to know that I can do it. So far, so good. So I'm not going to ruin it today by adding vodka, but apparently this tastes amazing without the vodka, but obviously feel free to add it in if you want. I've left the TikTok that I'm specifically using as a reference in the description bar down below. There are so many versions of this. Literally, if you search the hashtag Gigi Hadid pasta on TikTok, there's so many recipes. So if you want to find one with the vodka in, you can do that. I have also listed the ingredients and everything like that down below. I'm kind of using American measurements because it's it's all in like cups, half a cup, a full cup, that kind of thing. Um, so if you want the conversion, just Google a cup into milliliters. Or if you do cups as well, then this should be pretty straightforward. But I've got it all in front of me here. I'm absolutely starving because this is going to be my lunch today. But yeah, I'm so excited to do this. I've been wanting to do it for ages. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, it's essentially a creamy tomato pasta, garlicky pasta. You can't go wrong with this. So yeah. If you're excited for a little cook along with me, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I'm looking very glamorous for just a cooking video, but before my stomach starts making any more noises, it's time to go ahead and get started. So like I said, I have written all the ingredients for you down below as well as linked to the TikTok, but I'll still go through them. So what you're gonna need is some olive oil and you're gonna need a quarter cup of this. Um, you're gonna need a red onion. It said small chopped. I mean, can you get like big and small red onions? Is that a small red onion? <laughs> Am I using the whole red onion? I don't know. Cause also you guys, because it was a TikTok, I'm not sure like how long each step is gonna be. So I'm just gonna be doing it by eye. Anyway, so you're gonna need virgin olive oil, a red onion, what else? Two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna be using the very lazy chopped garlic cause you need two, it says two cloves of garlic. So I feel like I'm just gonna do like two kind of large heaped teaspoons of that. I love garlic, so maybe a bit more. I don't know. You're gonna want, they call it tomato paste, but tomato puree. If you're from the UK, I'll grrr. Half a cup of, it said thickened cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's double cream. That's what we're gonna be using today anyway. Double cream, what else is there? Salt and pepper, obviously, to season, as well as you want some chili flakes and some cayenne chili pepper. This is meant to be like quite spicy, but I think the cream helps to like, you know, neutral it out. So add as much or as little as these as you want. I've got some fresh basil leaves. They're just kind of gonna be chopped and then also used as like a garnish. And then what else is there? Pasta of your choice. I'm going for rigatoni. Looks like this. It's like the thick tubes. I think the person from the TikTok used kind of more of a flat pasta. It might have been like ribbons or something. Honestly, I really don't think it matters. I just, I don't know, I saw this and I was like, this kind of looks restaurant-y vibes. And I actually don't know if I've ever used it before. I'm not sure. It says it takes about 12 minutes. So do you know what? I'm gonna quickly boil, pre-boil my kettle because I'm a cheater. But um, just get the water on the hob and then the pasta on the go because I don't think the sauce actually takes that long. Um, it probably takes the same amount of time as it does for this pasta to cook. So I'm just gonna go ahead and boil that kettle. It's probably gonna get really loud, so I'm gonna be quite quick. Pasta of your choice, you wanna save pasta water, so don't forget that. Parmesan cheese and butter are the two final ingredients. So, but like first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the onion. Yeah, like I said, it says 
I don't know, you're basically cutting it up really small, really fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just pop it in here. And then I feel like we're just kind of ready to go. The water is boiling. I basically just poured how much dry pasta I think I'm gonna want. Um, so I'll just let that cook at the back. Um, like I said, it's like 12, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer. Hey Siri, set timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes and counting. Sorted. I'm gonna pop this here to remind me that I need to take some pasta water out at the end. Just give that like a little stir. Okay, so these things are so handy. If you don't have them, um, you can get them on Amazon essentially, but you're gonna take a quarter cup of olive oil, it says. So basically just like a fat um, drizzle of olive oil. I hope there's not a difference of me using extra virgin olive oil and olive oil. I hope not. I prefer extra virgin olive oil anyway. I don't know about anyone else. But then you're gonna be browning the onions and garlic. I've kind of just gone by eye on this. And this is where my cooking goes wrong. Cause I'm just like, oh yeah, like I'll just do it my way. Like, you know, whatever. That feels like a lot of oil, but I'm just gonna go with what the recipe says. I'm just gonna let that heat. I am probably gonna be looking at my phone and at the TikTok for reference because that's all I've got. Like all it says is. Fuck is not good enough. No one oh. Know. So we're gonna be adding the olive oil, the small red onion, the two cloves of garlic, and the tomato paste at the same time. So how much tomato paste was it? It's half a cup. So where did I just put the cups there? Okay, I'm gonna take my half a cup. Oh gosh. Okay, I've put a light there. I hope that's a little bit better for you guys. Anyway, right, so the oil is heating up. Now I just need to add half a cup of tomato paste. So, do you know what? Is it even gonna be worth using the actual measuring thing? Cause how am I gonna get that out? Oh well, I'll just fuck it. Oh God, it's quite a lot. Quite a lot. Right, let's pop this. Basically like the whole tube. Ugh. Suppose this is gonna be the sauce. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look delish? Right, let's pop everything in the pan. Onions, garlic. I really thought that would have sizzled. It did not. Great, let's turn the heat up a little bit. But then yeah, let's just scoop out this tomato paste. Just give, start giving it all a mix around. I'm kind of hoping something starts to sizzle. I'm guessing we're just gonna do this until it starts to sizzle and it's like cooking away. It's gonna be at least for a couple of minutes, I'm sure. So I'll get back to you when things start sizzling. Okay, you guys, so it's cooking along. I'm also, like I said, using the TikTok for reference and visually hers sort of looks like that. And now um, we're gonna add the cream. So I've already pre-measured it. It's a whole cup of double cream. So I'm just gonna add that in now. This is when it turns into that beautiful, like creamy pasta color. I mean, who doesn't like creamy tomato pasta? You can't go wrong. So I'm just gonna keep mixing that together. I'm feeling like we might need to turn the heat down a little bit just because we're working with cream. I don't want anything to like curdle, you know? But the color of that already, or like how it's coming along. Oh yes, let's give it a good old mix and a stir. Can you see that color? Like that color is how all pasta should be. Give that like a little mix, make sure it's all mixed. I'm trying to avoid spills. If you watched my cook, my roast with me, and you watched the <laughs> me cook the cauliflower cheese, that was a hot mess. There was cheese everywhere. So I'm trying to avoid spills. I'm just gonna give that a little step. What's the next step? I think the next step is to add in the kind of like spices. So like I said, if you don't really like super spicy food, don't add too much of uh, the cayenne pepper or the chili flakes. Um, maybe you don't even need to at all. I don't know. But um, I feel like I want a little bit of a kick you know, and get the full effect from this. So, I'm just gonna let that, I'm definitely gonna turn the heat down a little bit more. So in terms of the seasoning, it's obviously salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do like, good old big pinch of salt, pepper, give it a few twizzles. Cayenne chili pepper I'm concerned about. So I'm gonna give that like a little sprinkle across. Chili flakes again, don't want it too spicy. Oh! 
oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, yeah, I just don't want it too spicy, whatever. And then in goes like half a tub of chili flakes. Excellent. So this is basically going to blow my head off. Looking good. But um, I also, like I said, really am a sucker for garlic. So what I am going to do is add in a bit of garlic and parsley. This is a Badia seasoning. Yes, it's humongous because yes, Rachel doesn't understand the concept of size. And I thought this was going to be really small and it wasn't. So I'm going to add some of that in as well as a little bit of onion powder. I really like the taste of this. I know there is onions in there, but I don't know. There's something about the onion powder that just like does it for me. So I'm going to mix all of this together oh my god it smells so good okay give it a good old mix might add like a wee bit more cream just gonna add like a little bit more cream because it's smelling quite strong and i i don't know i kind of like a quite a soft tomato creamy pasta if that makes sense i don't like it to be too overwhelming so i'm just gonna give that a little bit of stir i'm suddenly concerned i've not <laughs> cooked enough pasta for the amount of sauce that I've got, but that just means and you have leftover sauce. I hope so. so. There's actually like 40 seconds left on the pasta. So I feel like now's the time to see how well, how well it's cooked. Oh, oh, feels good. I like mine quite al dente. So a little bit of a, not too, too soft, a little bit of, not a crunch, but you know what I mean. Mm. Little bit more, but only about one or two minutes. But this sauce is coming along and cooking nicely because the next thing that we're going to be doing is draining the pasta and adding the pasta, and then we're going to add the parmesan. Parmesan? <laughs> parmesan? Ah! Adding the parmesan and the butter. So I'm just going to quickly save some pasta water now because, like I said, the next thing that we're going to be doing is draining it all. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for that pasta to just soften a little bit more and then we can add it in to the sauce. Okay guys, so the pasta is now done. I'm now gonna add it in to the sauce. Like, <gasps> so, and then like I said, we are gonna be, oh, a couple of little tubes left in there. Adding in the pasta water as well. Let's give this a wee mix around. Oh my goodness, you guys, this looks so good. But I definitely did a little bit too much sauce for the amount of pasta I have. But look at that. Like, oh my god, and it smells so good. But now the final step is to add in the parmesan. Parmesan? Why can't I say parmesan like a normal person? So we're gonna add in, it's a tablespoon of butter. So I'm just gonna scoop it out of this. Yeet. Pop that in there. Then add in the cheese as well. This feels like a lot of Parmesan. <laughs> Why can't I say it? Parme parmesan, Parmesan. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna leave like a little bit, oh shit. I'm gonna leave a little bit out just because I'm not like a huge, like overwhelming taste of cheese lover. But obviously I know that completely differs between people. I've got friends that could eat like a block of cheese. I'm kind of in the middle, love cheese, but like not too much, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna keep mixing all that up till it's all melted in together. And we're obviously gonna have a taste test before I take it off this heat. But oh my God, I feel like pasta this color always tastes on real like so good let me get this little mix oh shit i didn't add the basil crap okay i'm gonna use that as a garnish but i'm gonna add like a little pinch of it i'm gonna add some in here and just stir it mix it all up i love the smell of basil i can never remember if it's basil i like or if it's parsley i like or if it's coriander i like i think i like them all i know coriander for some people might be a bit of a trigger because they hate it but i think i quite like it but yeah i'm just gonna get this little mix everything's melted Oh yeah, that's cheesy enough for me. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Right, oh my God, I feel like this is done. So I'm gonna serve it up in my bowl and show you the finished result and have an actual proper taste test. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of like more pepper on the top and sprinkle this remaining basil like as a garnish. But look at that. I'm sorry. Number one, that looks Unreal. Two, it smells so good. I feel like it's gonna be really spicy. I definitely did way too much sauce to pasta, but I'm not complaining because I love a saucy pasta. I'd rather there was too much sauce than too little sauce, you know what I mean? 
But let's go ahead and try it. Oh my god, why does that taste like so like different to a regular creamy pasta? Oh my god, you guys. That lives up to its reputation. That is so good. I feel like you could totally add maybe bacon, chicken, corn, whatever you want into that to maybe add a little something to it. But honestly, that was so good. And I feel like that was so easy. And I feel like that looks like I put a lot of effort into it, but realistically, it was a TikTok recipe. It was so simple. If you guys are bored during lockdown, I feel like cooking is such a fun and really useful skill to like work on and develop. And yeah, like I said, I wonder what this tastes like, like with the vodka in it. Maybe that's what the kick is. Maybe try making it for your family, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, friends, if you live with them during lockdown. Because I feel like this is a winner with some garlic bread to like swirl around and dunk. Oh my God, I should have got garlic bread. Loki tempted to run to the co-op and get some garlic bread. But this is so good. You can totally customize it to whatever you want. Uh, more tomato puree, less cream, more cheese, less cheese whatever you want, but this is a crowd pleaser and this is so fucking good. So that is the end of this kind of cook with me video. Um, Kind of simple recipe, but it was so fun, so good. And I've wanted to do that for ages and it's 100% lived up to its hype. If you needed a sign to cook the Gigi Hadid infamous pasta recipe, this is your sign. It is so good. But let me know if you want to see more videos like this or what things you want to see me cook or attempt to cook. Let me know in the comments section down below, but I'm off to enjoy me ball of pasta. Let me know if you guys try it because of this video or if you guys have already tried it, let me know in the comment section down below or tweet me pictures. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this now and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.